I can see the reflection. I have to. <sighs> What's going on, beautiful people? It's Nathaniel GE. This is a strip down challenge. Um, okay, before we start, let me put the timer on. Don't know the timer. Boom blast. Alright. So, if you don't know what the strip down challenge is, I just saw it like two videos ago. Um, basically, 10 minutes, you talk about anything without scripting it. You don't think before how much you're going to talk about. No music, no editing, no makeup. Well, I woke up like this. <laughs> If you say stupid stuff like oh, oh, obviously you can't cut it out, so it's just one hundred percent real. I'm kind of happy that um about this. I never thought I would do any like challenge videos and stuff because I don't know like ice bucket challenge. What's that beauty one? The don't judge challenge. Imagine me doing that. I want to be doing that. Um, but the good f <laughs> the good thing about this one is like obviously the stuff i've been uploading this gives me a chance to just like talk a bit because yeah i wouldn't already had that chance otherwise in the way i was i've been doing things but anyway um yeah it's, it's a good time to kind of i guess reflect on things so far um i can see that even though this youtube channel started in 2012 when I uploaded the DNF Sports Coaching Fellow montage video. When I think about me making YouTube videos, I only really think about it as in the first video I uploaded with me talking about something. So that would be, what was the first one? Things Change, that one, right? That was only like two weeks ago? A month ago? I think it was like about a month ago. Um, And yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Like, since then, like the journey of what I've been doing, like the videos I've been making and everything. Um, the other day, wow, this is gonna sound really, I don't know if it will sound stupid, but I looked at my, I went into the creator studio on YouTube and I said, no, first, okay, first, <laughs> what well, there was one day and I looked at my subscriber account on the creator studio. If you don't know what the creator studio is, basically for creators on YouTube. When you go into the creator studio, it shows all your analytics, how many views you had, how long people are watching your videos, where they're watching your videos, blah, 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 blah. And I saw that I lost a subscriber. And that feeling, oh my gosh. It's like, if someone was videoing me in, in that precise moment, I would have been all cool and like, okay, yeah, let me check my YouTube, like my subscribers. And you know that sad music that um, KSI plays in his videos? It would have been like that. Okay, yeah, let me check my videos. <laughs> Subscribers lost one. I was like, what? Somebody went on my channel and they pressed unsubscribe. What the hell? And then, I think that that took me down to like 37 subscribers. And then like a day later or two days later, when I checked again, I had 40. And I was like, wait, is this still recording? Because it just, it's recording, okay. And I had 40. And it felt really, I mean, I could have less now. Maybe more people unsubscribe. Dun, 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 dun. Or maybe I have more. I don't know. But to have 40 subscribers, to see that round number, 4-0, I was like, whoa. That's that's like, that's like quite cool. And I was like really happy for the rest of the day. And even now, I'm still happy. Like 40 is like a decent number, man. Like You have to remember. Okay, I started making these type of videos like three weeks ago or something. Or a month. But I had my blog before that, seeing5.com. I think I started that in 2013 or something. And yeah, so I've been writing blog posts and like sharing my views and stuff since then. But you know, the, the, the blog posts, they wouldn't get like crazy views. Maybe I think the highest viewed blog post I had was like, 30 or 40 views I think that was the Head in the Clouds poem I did and then so to see on here to get like consistently like 80 views 60 views even 30 40 views like for me it's a lot man like each view is a person I think sometimes people forget that 
and yeah, I just try not to be like too sidetracked about like what I'm doing with the videos. I'm trying to think of where I'm going with what I'm saying right now because there's so many different things I would like to say. It's already four minutes and I've been saying nothing. Oh my god, I'm sorry. If you're still here, thank you so much. Um, I'm Nathaniel, by the way. There's no video on my channel of me saying like who I am, what this channel is about, blah blah blah. Um, this is probably not the best. <laughs> The best introduction so it's not an introduction video um what else is on my mind and my voice is cracking my goodness what else is on my mind, my, my mind. um <clears throat> um yeah youtube journey so far um yeah it's crazy so obviously some people they have like uh are you, you don't want to hear about it, youtube what do you want to hear about um or maybe that is what I'll talk about. Shiza. Why am I... Mm. You see, this is very interesting. I didn't plan anything. So, therefore, in that regard... Okay, cool. Yeah, the journey so far. So, it's been it's been quite a challenge because... Okay, I've been... Uh, for these kind of videos, I'm using my map. My... For these kind of videos, I'm using my MacBook before, but I'm using my webcam, so then you can see all of this. Um, that was a reference to my wife and kids, by the way. All of this. Um, if you watched the last video I uploaded, which is the fitness, Sima Five Fitness number two, um, that's with my Canon 600D DSLR camera. On there, at the moment, I only have a 50 millimeter lens. <laughs> I only have a fifty millimeter lens, which means it's um <clears throat> very tight, like very close. So if I wanted to film videos of me talking at home, <laughs> I'd have to sit here, and I'd have to put the camera like there, like there, quite far. And at the moment, I'm using my microphone on the DSLR, so you can hear my voice clearly. And it's like impossible because if the camera's there and I'm there, and the microphone is. Because it's connected to the camera, so it'd be like there, and I'd be there. I mean, it'd probably still pick me up, but yeah. Oh, how long is it? Seven minutes. What have I said? I haven't even said anything. Um, I might do a second attempt at this, cause yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's been an interesting journey so far. The the best thing, I mean, I'm just so happy to be like making videos again. What for is this? <laughs> Uh, just to be creative, you know, like creating stuff, um, share my thoughts and like just editing again. I studied video and film production at uni, but I haven't been making videos. You know what I mean? Like I like creating stuff. So now every week, I'm shooting and editing videos and using Photoshop and learning new tricks when I'm editing and stuff. To just like every time I try to do something a tiny bit different in my videos and up the quality a bit or just like. The transitions, like, this is going to sound really stupid, but, um, editing wise, cause usually when I do cuts, I don't want really to do that many transitions, I just cut, cut, cut. And then in my last video, see if I fitness, I wanted to put like that white flash you see sometimes in between, you know, like the little flash when you cut between shots. And I wasn't sh fully sure how to do it because I never did it before. Um, so actually for the first one, when I was doing it, I, I got a white image. Anyone that does editing that's watching this is probably going to think, oh, what an idiot, you did that? Um, I don't know why they're American, but <laughs> you just take, I just took um, a white background from Google, I put it into Final Cut, and then I put that white background in between the images, like really, like a really small one, and then I did a dip, uh, did I do, a dissolve or something, like really fast. And I guess it's kind of the same effect, but then I realised actually there's a transition called dip, was it dip to dissolve? Dip to dissolve or dip to color or something, and then you just change the color to white. Now I know how to do that. I didn't know how to do that before. How to do that before? But if I wasn't doing these videos, then I wouldn't be learning these new techniques and skills. So it's really, really, really cool. The other thing with this YouTube stuff, man, it's like, um, yeah, you just have to like decide. Oh, okay, okay. No, first of all, a lot of people. With, like, as with anything, they start and you do like just one video 
and you see that you only get like 20 views 30 views some people aren't even happy with like 100 something views and then they stop and i could have done that as well oh my god my voice is like nathaniel leave it oh 10 seconds are you joking are you literally the king of joes oh my god i think i might just carry on i think if i keep talking i'm probably gonna get to something interesting yeah but after 10 minutes anyway hope you enjoyed that probably didn't um i didn't say anything <laughs> but anyway uh youtube yeah 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 welcome by the way if you're watching this thank you so much like i look obviously i look at my views and stuff and my subscribers and, and I, I remember that each view is a person at the moment there's not that much um there's not that much engagement on my channel <laughs> There's not that much engagement on my channel. <clears throat> I should get some water. Lo, uh, no necesito algo. Aqua. Ahora. I need some water now. No. I Anyway. I would like. Me gustaría algo. Aqua. Ahora. Um, <clears throat> there's not that much engagement on my channel. On my channel. And that's what I would really like to. That's what I really want to create, man. I want to create a community. I think when you realize that you're not getting a lot of views and you're not getting a lot of subs and a lot of inter you're not getting much interaction and stuff, I think it really tests you because then it's like, then it makes you think, okay, am I making YouTube videos for the views? Am I making YouTube videos to get like 500, 200 views and loads of subscribers? Or, you know, it's every time I say subscribers or engage, engage with my voice, it's like, nah, I'll leave it. Anyway, um, yeah, then you realize it's like, you have to think, okay, what is my motive here? Is my motive here to have 150 views per video? Is my motive to have 100 subscribers? And then I thought, like, no, actually, it's not. That's not my motive. That's not why I'm making the videos. That's not why I was writing blog posts that didn't get that many views, even though I have like, 45 followers on my blog or something like that um then yeah sorry then i went off track but i'm back um then you have to think right so sorry, sorry. then you have to think yeah so why am i making videos what is it i want to get to it get out of it and for me it's not the views and the subscribers it's like from my side the creative side of everything you know like creating share my thoughts share my journey because this channel is like mostly about a journey you know of a young guy 25 years old see you in five and five years i'll be 30 so it's like a journey of life like join me on the road to the champions league of life so it's like you know a young guy 25 years old sharing his thoughts and his journey as he progresses in different areas fitness um being creative creating videos life in general growing up being a young man like all these kind of things um and having fun as well you know what i mean um that's like from my side and from the other side i want to um create a community you know i want to talk to people i want to meet people around the world that also like you know are thinking about progressing and trying to develop and progress in a creative way or in their career or they want to be entrepreneurs and self-employed or the writing a book or the doing whatever man just like whatever you're whatever you're doing this is i want this to be a place where people can connect in that way you know it's like anything to do with progression and just life and knowledge and yeah that's why I, you know on things change video how to do what you love and then the fitness is the progression so yeah it's like um but i i know that that, that will come with time like the thing i realize is even if I had a thousand views now per video, maybe that would be a bad thing because that would ma that means like one thousand people would come to my ch channel now at this early stage. They'd look at it, they wouldn't see much content, like uh, nine videos or something, and then they'd probably go away. Whereas if now I have like a core amount of people, that core is probably like forty or thirty to forty people that watch every video. I shouldn't say that this will probably have five views but anyway that's fine as well <laughs> that's fine 
um, then in the future, maybe a year from now, when I've got this many videos, then when people come across my channel, they got all this stuff to look through and look back on and be like, oh, that's cool. What about, oh, that's cool. And then, you know what I mean? Because then, then there's more to it. And then by that time, hopefully there'll be people interacting more in the, in the comment section and stuff like that. So, how long have I been talking for? 15 minutes. Oh, man. Bloody. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to upload this, if I'm going to do another one for 10 minutes. Damn. Anyway, um, yeah, interaction and interaction and community. That's what it's about for me on this channel. Community, community and growth, I guess, is what it could all come under. That's my aim. Rather than, I mean, obviously, it'd be nice. It'd be so cool to get to 50 subscribers. If you saw how how happy I was when I had 40, <laughs> if I had 50, you know what I mean, then 100. But I'd be more happy actually. I'd be happier. Rather than having a hundred subscribers, I'd be happy if I had like ten comments per video and interacting with those comments and starting a conversation. That's what would make me happy. I think that's how you can kind of judge a bit, like how much value you're bringing to people or how much you're making them think or if you're inspiring them. I think maybe now it's harder to to judge because with small channels, obviously it's like human psychology with some. Like if you walk past a club, oh my days, I'm going deep. <laughs> if you like, when I have these anyway, these analogies, yeah. All right. If you walk past a club, yeah, or pub. No, let's go with club. If you walk past a club, you with your friends, you're looking for somewhere to go out, and you walk past and it's empty. It might have the sickest songs on, but you're probably gonna walk past because even though they got sick songs, the lighting's all nice. It looks really cool inside one of the best DJ or it's a really good DJ you're thinking oh well no one's in there so let's go to this place because over there it's packed and there's more happening over there there's more of a vibe so on YouTube that would be like there's more views there's more comments and interaction there's more subs community as opposed to this place over here which is empty even though it's so good over there you know what I mean but then what all it takes is like people that do like this empty place okay i'm gonna confuse myself now between the two things what is that someone just followed me on twitter and i just uploaded the cm5 fitness thing on there so maybe my community thing i don't know anyway um all it takes is those early adopters yeah it's, the, it's that talk what is it how to be it's from like a ted talk how to how to how to how to wait 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 Wait, 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 wait. How to? What is it? It's on my home page. I mean, my desktop. I think is it Simon Simonek? Mm. Anyway, listen. There's a TED talk when they're talking about um how to start or how to grow a community or something. Basically, what they're saying is like the what you need first is the early adopters because the majority of like um. The majority of people, <laughs> and there's a better word than that. The majority of people, they are like um, late adopters, you know, like um, they don't do something until everybody else is doing it. It looks really cool and, they, and it gets to the point where if they're not doing it and they're not a part of it, then actually they're missing out. And that's like here. Down here is where you have the early adopters like they're the first ones that find out about it and they love it they love it because they love what it's about but they also love it because they're early and those are the people that are like you know they write first in the comment section and stuff like this so these people are the ones that first like you know i'm gonna find your channel and think it's cool maybe they're gonna maybe they won't subscribe but they'll come back to watch every now and then see if you're being um consistent and then once you get enough of those people, they start to build a bit. And then obviously if they start to interact and everything like that, then your channel looks slightly more appealing to these next group of people that need these people first to like, you know, get things going a bit. Then once you've got those two, it's going a bit more like that. And then it goes to that. And then you get more people, you know what I mean? Then it's like... Phew, 
and then you got your Kurf. I don't remember the whole name on the philosophy and all that malarkey. Oh my god, so it's basically 20 minutes. I don't feel like I've said anything. Maybe I need to do more videos like this where I just talk about stuff. I don't even want to end it here because I haven't really said that much. But yeah, basically, I'm just trying to be consistent and creative, man. Like Steve Jobs would say, stay hungry, stay foolish. You know what I mean? I'm hungry, like, because I think about, like, think about all the possibilities like i mean that's the cool thing about youtube as well there's so many possibilities like literally you can change your life and other people's lives through youtube and that's what c5 is all about you know what i mean like but the only way you can do it is by being consistent and being innovative and creating you know what i mean always produce so that's what i'm doing so it's exciting like no matter about because i don't think necessarily about the views and stuff now it's more about the future, you know, so, and what I mean by that is, like, even if I might have, like, 30 views on the video now, or 60 views, it's all about building that wall, that backlog of content, of stuff, then when people do come, like, more people do come, then they see all the stuff that you've done, and it's like, oh, cool, let me check this guy out, rather than yeah. Anyway, it's 20 minutes, 23 minutes, no, 21 minutes. Um, I'd love to go on. If you're still watching this, you are a boss. You're sick. And if you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed, I would love you to tell me why. Just write it in the comments because that's one thing. I, I mean, maybe it goes back to what I was talking about, but yeah, I know. I don't know. Anyway, if you're watching this, definitely say something in the comments, man. Like, Let's interact. Let's get it going. You can be an early adopter. You know, don't wait for everybody else. Like, I was saying the same thing to my friend the other day. Like, once one person comments on the video, other people feel a bit more at ease to do it because it's like, oh, I don't want to be first. No one's, no one's saying anything here. <laughs> Even if I, I write first, you know what I mean? So, yeah, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Um, that was my strip down challenge. I don't, I guess we found out that I can talk a lot freely on camera, but peace, Nefanuji EC5.